hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again so today we are gonna have a look at my gauntlet build the strongest barbarian build in the world right now that i'm 100 percent sure if people like rob used in week one or right now they could get way higher score by not wasting by not wasting aspects and time on hammer of the ancients because hammer of the ancients is a remnant of the past hammer of the ancients really only makes sense if what you're after uh is you know the highest damage with overpower but we no longer have abathor of zir so what we want is speed simply doing the rotation of whirlwind hora whirlwind hora wasting time to get earth striker aspect again waste of an aspect not just you know the ancient force uh and ancestral force sorry uh, for the hammer of the ancients you know wasting all of that to do to to do something that just your charge can do that just your kick can do so yeah they could save like i watched some of the gameplays and they could easily save several seconds by optimizing the build a bit further now i use this build to play gauntlet as well now as i always say both of my hands are left so yeah like my mechanical skill can like never uh, never reach the heights of these guys uh but i still managed to reach over 900 000 score in just one day of playing and yeah like you know I get lost after like two turns so it was just kind of like some random runs trying to do something a bit more you know um a bit more professional trying to do some roots of of other people but yeah like non-stop non-stop looking at the map and not knowing where i'm going so so yeah i'm super happy with the outcome like over 900,000 in one game with yeah super lame gameplay is in my opinion a very good uh score so basically like let, let's jump right into how this build works right why you don't want to play hora uh and that's because ref of the berserker what it does is it increases your damage by 25 percent for every 50 fury that you spend now the easiest thing uh you can do to get this immediately like all of the stacks in one second is to have over 200 fury and you skip to spend all of that fury so basically with just one ability you get the maximum bonus from breath of the berserker and because it can be snapshotted or more like you cannot avoid snapshotting it you will retain this buff for the remainder of the gauntlet just benefiting from the insane damage increase you know so all you gotta do is you know like fight the enemies you know pop your uh, pop your buffs and press your kick now you basically got everything rolling and you just keep pressing your charge as you can see there are like 20 30 40 million damages flying around uh so kick uh with charge and ref of the berserker is absolute monster 43 million there no problem you just keep rotating your uh shouts and just charging you know like you can see the 40 million flying around all the time it's just bonkers now of course kick itself deals a lot of damage as well as you could have seen over 40 million damage so yeah kick and charge instant killing everything in the game uh you know in current in in current end game because uh yeah it's t70 difficulty in the gauntlet so do not i repeat do not waste time aspects and even skill points to be honest on hammer of the ancients you don't need it and um for example lenny is now using this build she's one of the best barbarians in the world for sure she's in the top 10 in just one season in just one season of playing barbarian missing a lot of items not having brawling skills on the on her amulet which you know i don't have either so i'm losing uh, i'm losing quite a lot of damage on the charge there so you can definitely push it like higher in terms of damage you know and yeah it's not you know it's not uh just the charge damage that gets in increased with the brawling skills it's also the cooldown that gets reduced and that goes for kick as well the cooldown gets reduced so three brawling 
especially powerful there. She doesn't have it. She doesn't have Uberstone from the Malfas and still absolutely decimating all of her enemies, you know, absolutely de decimating barbarian mains, playing it for months or even years if we count previous Diablo installments. And she is currently using my build and hopefully, hopefully having a lot of uh, fun with it. Um, so let's jump right into the planner and I will show you how to use this build, what are the synergies and why it is so damn powerful. And there is also a variation of this build for T100 and the reel that you can use and you will always do any content like that variation hits for a hundred million normal crit charge uh and even more with the overpower so it literally one shots everything and all you gotta do is turn your brain off and just charge 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 you know and yeah that for me at least um is quite a lot of fun to be honest you know <laughs> so let's jump right into it okay and so now to look at the build itself so Kind of like an evergreen build. I don't think you can do much in terms of your gear and aspects. Like there are, you know, set items and aspects that are simply the best for Gauntlet. So we are going for Shaco. We are going for Rage of Harrogate. Rage of Harrogate is the best chest in the game. Pretty much I've been using it for weeks, if not months. Well, especially because I'm, I'm a rent barbarian main, right? So yeah, the cooldown reduction on this chest plus all the damage it gives us, especially with the crit strike chance to make sure that our charge pretty much always crits against elites to instant kill them, absolutely bonkers. Then for gloves, ancestral charge. For the affixes here, what's most important is strength and crit strike chance. Uh, but because we are not using any other core, then obviously I'm going for four ranks of whirlwind. Though my <laughs> my uh, you know own gloves don't have it. They have rent, but it doesn't really matter. The, the, the biggest you know damage comes from kick and uh, charge, which you can't really have on your gloves. So uh, it doesn't matter if you don't have it there and all stats again to boost the damage further. Uh, but you can also, of course, go for attack speed. It smooths out the animation, even though Whirlwind doesn't benefit in terms of damage from attack speed. You know, you get nothing if you're just, you know, Beyblading around. Uh, yeah, as I said, it still smooths out the animations, which can make you go faster, especially when your animation canceling like evade will win, you know, very, very, uh, very good to have as well. To be honest, even if you have lucky hit chance there, again, okay, to proc your Rage of Harrogate, you really can't go wrong on gloves as long, as long as they have strength and crit strike chance, uh, you know, especially crit strike chance, just make sure it's maxed out or like, I don't know, 11 and a half percent, very close to the max. Then for pants, the bolts will, insane amount of damage, you know, that's what we want. So uh, can't really choose anything else there. For boots, this is very important, you know, they need to have that attacks reduce evades cooldown by XX seconds, okay? Because this is what makes us able to just, you know, whirlwind evade whirlwind evade whirlwind evade and of course we are using metamorphosis right so that's very very strong uh you don't want to be like channeling your whirlwind because then it doesn't you know count as like several attacks you want to be clicking your whirlwind to keep spinning because yeah like every uh, every click will count as different uh as a separate attack so that's how you will just you know <laughs> Uh, go, <laughs> go with your cooldown uh, reduction on your evade. So uh, for the affixes, we want both movement speeds because we actually want to overcap on the 200% movement speed to make sure that when we are whirlwinding, we are not losing that movement speed because whirlwind makes you lose 40%. So you want to overcap on movement speed. Uh, we are also using Shrive Buff Duration. Basically, all of the builds you could say in the Gauntlet are Shrine built. Uh, shrines do almost all of our damage. Shrines do simply everything. So Shrine Buff Duration, super important. And then Strength to get the more damage with Aspect of Ghost Walker to, again, be faster to reach that, uh, you know, movement speed cap. 
for our weapons any weapon that we can choose affixes for we go for all stats strength crit strike damage damage while berserking because damage while berserking turns into multiplicative damage thanks to our paragon board and crit strike damage because if we are using artillery shrine we are not always hitting enemies that are in close so crit strike damage boosts the damage of shrines so it's extremely good but you can of course go for damage to close that will increase your damage when in close which is basically our kick and charge so that's very good option as well so don't sweat over it like we are overkilling everything so much that it doesn't matter as much now uh, i have brawler's aspect here on the 200 but to be honest you can very easily and if i had another aspect i would probably do that swap it with your other one hander which has edge masters so you can put the edge masters on your 200 just to get another 20 percent multiplicative damage increase to your kick and to your charge plus of course real wind as well right but as i said real wind is not the main source of damage um our other one hander is ramaladnis it's like the best item in the game uh best weapon in the game basically if you are not playing hammer of the ancients you always play ramaladnis it's just so so strong um so it's very important to have this one and 925 item power or very close to it and then 0.4 percent multiplicative damage increase based on our fury those two are super super important and then if you really want to min max and you don't want to lose points in your paragon board which is of course what i, what I suggest you want to get maximum fury there as well because you want to reach 200 fury and a little bit like 202 203 or 204 that's what you want to have it's easy to get if you you know get more points in the paragon board but i'm trying or like what i did was super super min max just just you know to the peak so try to get 30 max fury here uh then of course grandfather you know this is crit strike damage based build so yeah self-explanatory uh to have this one ring of the revenues to uh get our ranks of brawling skills which increases the damage of the charge reduces the cooldown it also applies bleeding which works super well with rage of harrogate and it is the highest crit strike chance item or ring in the game 12 percent no other ring got that so you definitely want it again Crit strike, you know, damage based build. So you want to be as close to 100% as humanly possible. Uh, then for our other ring, crit strike chance, damage while berserking, max fury, crit strike damage, and bold chieftain's band or bold chieftain's aspect. Uh, so that our shouts have like 100 or very close to 100% at time. For our amulet, again, ranks to brawling to increase the damage and reduce the cooldown, shrine buff duration cooldown reduction and movement speed with aspect of metamorphosis to gain more mobility now there are layouts like this week layouts for example that don't benefit from metamorphosis as much it's just like straight paths straight paths and it's like caves it's tunnels right you can't really go to the side so you're just you're just rolling your charge across um across the whole length of the cave and yeah metamorphosis like loses a little bit like a little bit of the benefit but you like these amulets are so expensive or so hard to come by that you probably don't have two of the same amulets to put something else there to just increase the damage of charge or something so yeah metamorphosis uh here like all around there uh, all around there being the best and then you know slot some gems uh in your jewelry to get some resistances it's t70 mm, so it's very easy content you don't really need resistances to survive so like get like fire lightning and poison you know these are the three most important resistances in the game uh like that's the elemental damage that is like uh, almost everywhere so yeah put these gems in for sure and then of course uh crit strike damage to vulnerable enemies in the weaponry and max life in uh in our armor then for the skills very easy just two points 
uh, to get further than dumping all the points in Whirlwind, Enhanced Whirlwind, and Furious Whirlwind. Furious Whirlwind because we really want to proc a Rage of Harrogan as much as possible. But you can for sure also go for Wildwind Whirlwind, especially if you already have the four ranks of Whirlwind on your gloves because it actually makes your Whirlwind hit hard, like really, really hard. So yeah, why not, baby? Why not? Three points in imposing presence. Don't really need these three points, as I said. The content is very, very easy. But there are not many, like, there are not many ways to reposition these points to gain more damage. So yeah, feel free to use these as you see fit. Then rallying cry, of course. I am using strategic rallying cry because. I don't really benefit from tactical rallying cry this build uses charge mostly you know so we don't really spend fury apart from that one kick to max out our ref of the berserker or maybe you know one another kick if he lose it somewhere in the middle so this one is better for us to make sure that counter offensive is always up then of course kick only one point in because it doesn't increase the damage it only increases or like decreases uh the cooldown so we don't need more than one point in enhance kick and power kick to spend all of that fury and do extra damage uh then war cry you know with power war cry for extra damage three points in booming voice as i said we want uh you know as much uptime on our shots as our shouts as possible two points in raid leader that way we never have to ever worry about our hp it's always 100 percent then dumping all of the points into charge enhanced charge and power charge to reduce the cooldown three points in swiftness for the mobility three points in aggressive resistance for some extra dr battle fervor to have our berserking up at all times and two points in prolific fury once again the content is very easy you can easily take two points out of aggressive resistances you know and reposition them but there are not many points where you can really put it like sure there are some but uh the benefit is not as high like you because we are using dual wheels you can put it to dualist you know as i said these three points you don't need either so you can go for slaying strikes but we don't really fight injured enemies they go from like 100 to zero so yeah like you can play around with these as you see fit but yeah there's not as much benefit that you can gain by repositioning these yeah, I already uh, kind of showed you. So three points in pit fire for more damage, one point in thick skin, and three points in counter offensive for that sweet multiplier to our damage. Three points in tempered fury to reach above two hundred, and then of course breath of the berserker with unconstrained, the best combo. Now for our paragon board again, nothing too crazy, right? Starting board ire, one of the best boards for ire we have basically three boards when you want to put ire nowhere else and that is the starter board hemorrhage if you're using rent or blood rage please avoid using it in carnage it is just a dps loss you never ever want to do that uh, of course we don't need any armor so we are going for damage here uh, then we are taking warbringer just these you know rare notes not the other notes because all we really need is to reach 200 and a little bit extra um, then we are taking all of the crit strike damage notes possible this is the best board for dexterity so we are maxing out on that to again increase the damage of our artillery shrine then I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, then we are going to Carnage, where we are taking all of the damage while berserking nodes. You know, that's our multiplicative damage as well as just our additive damage. This is the best stat for Bar Barian in the game. So we are taking all of those. Uh, we are going to Flawless Technique, where we are using Marshall to boost all of the crit strike damage nodes around. Again, super crit strike damage based build. So that's what you want to do, you know, taking all of the crit strike damage wherever you can plus all of the crit strike chance wherever you can so also the legendary note flawless technique and then we continue and take blood rage again all of the damage while berserking notes plus the blood rage legendary note that's the most important note in any barbarian build because that turns our 
additive damage while berserking into multiplicative it's super insane you always want it and exploit not because we are actually fighting enemies that are vulnerable because yeah as i said they go from uh they go from 100 to zero but mostly because it gives us 100 uptime on the decimator which is our last board and last last legendary node giving us 10 percent multiplicative damage increase basically at all times because we're just charging and making new enemies vulnerable over and over and using brawl glyph here to increase the damage of our charge further now for the pet what we are going for is flesh of adrenaline genesis duration support and tactical support we use this pretty much in every build and then we have options here okay you can either use protect with initiative and fortify and Evernight. that way you will of course you know lose some damage because oh, Evernight won't be up like as much or hardly ever but if you use this then you can actually bait enemies like three bosses uh you know in one spot on like the glory shrine and kill them for maximizing the points gain okay which if you use tempest can't really do because the pet is like jumping around and it can even reset the bosses or just you know stack them somewhere in the bag because they're attacking the pet so yeah uh it's like it, it, you have to you have to decide for yourself what route you are doing whether you are stacking enemies etc uh, because otherwise you know if you are not then of course tempest is the best uh, tempest with efficiency because efficiency give uh, gives us you know crit strike chance again so we are almost at 100 percent with all of these synergies and uh yeah that's pretty much for the build the technique is you know 200 x expertise pretty much again we are going from 100 to zero so not as valuable as uh, it might be in like Abathor of Zero or other content, but still like the first boss, the first boss does not die to just charge, okay? Because we do we do not have our Wrath of the Berserker stacked up, etc. So you definitely want two handed axe expertise here because yeah, first we charge, we take like I don't know. 65 70 percent of the hp down or you know some something around that and then the rest we kill with the kick so having you know extra damage on on the kick is always good especially if you for example miss the charge and you just do damage with like the ancestral aspect which won't take it you know as low so yeah extra damage baby extra damage for the first boss is uh good so I really hope you enjoyed the video i hope you understand the choices i hope you now understand why kick is so much better than hammer of the ancients and uh, yeah i really hope you're gonna have a lot of fun with this build if you choose to play it so thanks for watching see you in the next one